All right, you two. P111. On a 07, a 2015 GMC Sierras, Chevy, Chevy, uh, GMC Sierras, Chevy Silverados, Tahoes, um, doing a VVT sensor. All right, so you're gonna have to start by taking out this upper hose, use some pliers, and then you're gonna have to take this water pump off to access the to access the VVT that's in the back. And this one's still hot, so there's a lot of steam. It's got them driving it. So once you get the water pump out of the way, you can just bungee it over. And right there's the VVT sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. And it's a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, I was gonna take the harmonic balancer off, but I didn't, because I was able to slide it off just using the uh, flex head ratcheting wrench to get that um, 10 millimeter out. So able to do it here, and I'm gonna change the uh, crankshaft position sensor too, since I'm here. And this just has a little tab on it. Fucking lost my piece. What piece? Hopefully, it slides out. Some of these are pain in the butt to take out. But hopefully. Hopefully it just comes out on its own. Excuse my lighting. Okay. See if I can get it to just shift or move a little. So you're gonna need two bars to break it loose. And then you have the camshaft, not the crankshaft, position sensor you have to replace with this one. But, let's see if I can get a good light on this. But then you just spin it off. It's a 24 millimeter socket. And I, had, I ran into worries of uh, thinking maybe the timing would fall off. But. Sometimes <sighs> it's easier. Just leave it. A lot of people take off the harmonic balancer, stuff like that, but I'm not going. And yeah, maybe you don't want to drop it, but. <sighs> so here's the old one. As you can tell, these things usually get clogged up. with oil 
Doesn't really look that bad. But since I'm here, I don't feel like doing it again. I'm just gonna replace it with a new one. Here's the new one. And just like that. There's nothing in there. Yeah, so you just want to hand tighten this as much as you can. If it's loose enough, you can do it with your finger. I'm trying to do this all with one hand, sorry. Once it gets tight, like I said, you want to use at least two breaker bars to try to tighten it up. Okay, so once you have it in, okay, you can put on your, your camshaft position sensor, which was a freaking cut to take out. Come with a new gasket and everything. Okay. You wanna put that bad boy back on. And you never want to use the same bolts. That's why they give you, that's why they send you a new ones. Send you a new ones. Put on the new ones. Highly recommend it. And then you may not have the fancy snap on one, but and that one here. And if you notice, I'm not taking them down all the whole way. I just wanted to get married. Sorry again. Maybe we'll get that one on. And then unfortunately, they don't give you a new uh, bolt for the cam so you just gotta use the same one which is alright to use gap right there that I don't like. Okay. I'm sorry I'm only getting bits and pieces. I'm trying to work with both of my hands. Again? No. 
is that George? I think I'm gonna eat both hands. Well, there you have it. That's how it should look. So, so once it's back together, you should have oil pressure right between 37 and 40. 37 and 40 is where you want to be. This truck has 263,000 miles. And to have that type of oil pressure, it is like brand new. Um, I did put a mixture of 530 and 1030 together. This is a six quart truck. So I put, I mixed, I mixed about roughly four and a half quarts of 1030 and the rest 530 to build a uh, reconstruction on the, the, the valves and everything inside after changing the VVT. Um, it's something that helps them um, that I have found. Um, it might help your truck as well, but this bad boy, she's holding it at 40. Um, she never really had oil pressure problems. What she had was she was just delaying um, when it came to shifting and, and, and so forth. Um, so right now is you know it's, it's running like a champ. So and I'll show you guys how everything will look back once you go back together. So once she's all back together, you, know, you can tell back there is where uh, the camshaft position sensor is. So yeah, so all you want to do is you want to make sure that once you put it all back together, none of the wires are exposed.